The next step in the process is applying the antique finish. For the finish on the maple corbels, it's a three-step process. The first step, I'm going to apply an alcohol-based dye to the raw wood. Now maple is a very dense and non-porous wood and dye helps it get a more consistent color than a typical stain wood. You can think of the pigments in dye as what grains of sand are to um, gravel. The pigments in dye are much smaller and they tend to absorb and provide an even color better than a typical stain. After the dye has had a chance to dry, step two in the process is to apply this oil-based stain. Now the dye really just made an undercoat for this stain and we want to work this stain down into all the crevices of the carving to make sure that we highlight and accentuate the depth in the carving. So basically I'm going to flood it on, let it soak up as much as it can, and then wipe off the areas that I can get to, leaving stain in the other areas. It'll give it a nice antique look. So I let this sit for about 20 minutes to a half an hour because I really wanted this stain to soak in there. And now I just come back and you can see the parts that I'm able to wipe it off get lighter and the stuff that's stuck down in the crevices is darker, highlighting the detail of the carving. And to bring out those highlights even more, you can control that look by going over it with some steel wool. And this will lighten some of the high parts and give it even more contrast, like it's 100 years old. The last step in the finishing process is to coat the corbels with some spray polyurethane. Now this is pretty easy. You just spray it on. And in this case, it's going to enrich the look of the carving. You'll get more color contrast out of the finish that's on there. And it'll give it a nice protective coat.